you. Please sit down. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. It is an absolute pleasure to be here today. And as some of you may know, due to very personal reasons, I have chosen not to attend any public events over the last few months. But I did commit to this event several months ago. And to be honest with you, I did think about canceling and not coming. But after thinking about all the hard work that goes into an event such as this, I couldn't do that. I couldn't say no. I also thought about the purpose of today's luncheon and about all of you young women and how proud you were making your families and all of us. And I realized what a great opportunity it would be for me to speak to you. And one thing that I want you to remember, all of you young women, remember that when you make a commitment, you must always honor that commitment. Unless, of course, there are... Unless, of course, there are extenuating circumstances or emergencies that arise. That is a lesson that I have learned from very successful women. Know that when you keep commitments to yourself, it's easy, easier for you to keep commitments to others. Speaking of commitments, I'd like to acknowledge the organization Girls Today, Women Tomorrow, and for the commitment that they have to all of you young women. I would love for Michelle, Nora, Rochelle, and everyone involved in the plan of this committee to please stand up. I think you all deserve a big round of applause. Please stand. Please know that these women care about you, and it's because of you that this organization has been so successful over the last eight years. When I was growing up, I would have loved to have been involved in a program such as this. What an impact it would have had on my life. Um, to all of you girls here today, please listen and learn from your mentors. They have a lot of wisdom of which you can partake. As I told you before, I didn't have a program like this, but I did have family, friends, and life's lessons that have helped me develop into the person that I am today. And they've also helped me get through the difficult times. I'll give you a little bit about my background, even though Rochelle already mentioned it. But both of my parents were born here in the United States. My mother was born in Dodge City, Kansas. My dad was born in Flint, Michigan. But they were raised in Mexico. So I grew up very traditional Mexican. My parents both went back at about a year old. So they, they, they are technically American citizens, but they were va- raised very me- Mexican nationalists. Um, but I must say they are very patriotic. When, my, when I turned 18, the first thing that my dad did is he took me to the post office and he made sure that I registered because he told me that voting was a privilege, not a right. And growing up in Pico River, my parents always instilled the importance of education, perhaps because they never had any formal education themselves. Yet they knew that education could provide a better way of life. They worked very hard, and they sacrificed much to put my brother and I through Catholic school. And although we did have many resources, I never felt that I was missing anything. I had love, support, and encouragement. As far as I'm concerned, family is one of the most important aspects of anyone's life. Their example has influenced me in the way that I have raised my children. I attended St. Mary Ann's School, Sacred Heart of Mary High School in Montebello, I received my bachelor's from Cal State Long Beach, and a few years later, my master's from Cal State LA. I started my teaching career in 1983 with Montebello Unified School District, and I am still with them today. During that time, I had a family, and I managed to raise four children. Two are grown and have families of their own. One is off to college, and we're very proud of him. I'm very proud to say he's off to Princeton. Thank you. And the youngest is still at home and will start high school this fall. I also serve on several boards that Rochelle mentioned. 
I sit on the Orthopedic Hospital Foundation Board, the Center Theater Group, the Mark Taper, the Almond, which is board for the Mark Taper, Taper the Onsen, and the Kirk Dulles Theaters. I also serve as a commissioner for First Flight, as well as on the Acción Board. The purpose of Acción is a fairly new board, but it, the purpose of it is to provide quality college counseling to our high school students. All along the way, I met people that had a lasting impact on my life. As you meet people throughout your life, ask yourself, what can I learn from this person? What can I contribute to this person's life? Many of the people that had an impact on my life were women. Women that possessed an inner strength about them and a great spirituality about life, just like many of the women here today. And all of you remember, sisterhood is a very powerful thing. Did you notice how many of the young girls mentioned their mom?